Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I have got my Jewel CVS and Walgreens haul for you guys today. Everything at Jewel and Walgreens went perfectly fine. One thing, though, I didn't, um, they didn't have one of the items at CVS. I thought that with using all of my extra bucks, because I was planning on using just all of them straight up, because I got, <laughs> I had not only the 11 I think I earned from last Sunday, um, or not last Sunday, the Sunday before that, I think I had $11 in extra bucks. I had my $10 care pass. I had a two or three to i think two dollar like monthly spending or you know the uh the quarterly extra buck for my spending and i had a three dollar beauty buck so i had fifteen dollars in extra extra bucks that i wasn't even planning on plus the 11 which is already sort of high um so i was like i just want to use it all in one straight shot to pay as little out of pocket as possible but like the beauty buck the um the spending you know the two dollar one and the the care pad the care pass we paid four dollars for basically a month was how I broke it down and we get ten back So it's like an extra six dollars basically that we made that was just extra and again when I get that beauty buck back I don't figure it is like oh I earned to get it You know it's just like oh it's a bonus sort of that I got back because I'm not paying attention or trying to break down like okay Good this will get me to that um, you know that beauty buck or whatever um, Sometimes I have but again, you know not that big of a deal and on top of that too today I ended up with more than ten dollars towards the thirty dollars <laughs> again that I I need towards that beauty buck um but like i said one of the items that at cvs they didn't have so i ended up throwing something else in the item i was gonna get wasn't actually didn't have anything to do with the extra bucks the item i threw in though did um and so i like i said though i threw those in just because i didn't want to like be under i realized there's actually 97 cents would have been okay um after but i threw those in anyway we ended up paying like eight bucks i think at cvs in total plus tax it was 809 um had i not gotten those probably would have been like a couple dollars just pretty much with tax because it was 97 cents a subtotal um or would have been but again i just wanted to make sure like i wasn't under and then couldn't use some of those extra bucks um, but i also got an extra one dollar back as well and didn't spend a whole ton out of pocket everything at walgreens went perfectly smoothly um found everything got everything all the coupons went through all the sale prices rang up at the right price i got all of my walgreens cash back um, i redeemed two uh different register awards and then at Jewel, pretty much everything ended up working fine. I realized I think I bought the wrong Saturday sampler item, which is sort of my dad's fault because he was reading the list. And um, he, uh, the, the, it was for either I think the Raisin brand um, or the Signature Select Raisin brand or the like honey or I think it was like oat cereal, which is like Cheerios basically, their store brand. Um, 18 or 18.7 ounces. Um, and I realized I picked up the Raisin Bran Crunchy 18.2 ounces. I don't know if I just said 18. 18 or 18.7 was the two sizes. I think I think it was not in between those two. It either had to be like just a regular Raisin Bran, I think, not crunchy kind, because that's what my dad pointed out, and I was like, okay, maybe that was why. They were still on sale, but I didn't get them for free with the Saturday sampler, which I should have. The other thing, too, is that the budding, um, I got some of the little budding meats, and they were supposed to be a dollar off of five coupon, which I loaded, but it didn't take off, which kind of stunk, because I was really debating whether or not I wanted to get them because I was like oh we're gonna get deli meat most likely at um I think actually Caputo's this week um and so I was like oh we don't really need them but like they last longer than like getting the fresh deli meat stuff like it stays good for a long time because <laughs> it's so processed um so I was like it's not bad to have just like extra meat in there on hand in case we don't wind up getting it or it's not on sale or something whatever um so that kind of stunk though because I was like oh I guess I'll do it and then the coupon didn't even come off on top of that too my dad handed me the receipt in jewel i remember because i was like okay what are you handing me because like um on top of that too the guy that was actually in front of us at jewel um was like bought a bunch of stuff and then the lady was like oh are you playing monopoly and he was like no and then he turned to us and he was like are you guys playing monopoly and we we're like yeah and he's like okay i'll give him that my my tickets you know for the monopoly he got like 36 or something crazy like that and then we got i think even less than that but um in the confusion where i i took you know the two tickets from him 
my dad paid and everything like that and then um, the lady was giving the, like my dad the receipt and the tickets also and so in the, the ex that exchange of my dad handing them then to me I think I ended up dropping the receipt because I know that he handed it to me at some point but I got out to the parking lot and was like where's the receipt I can't find it I was like did you give it to me I went through all the bags too it wasn't in there so I do think that he handed it to me and I was holding it like with the tickets and I think that I ended up dropping it in the store though because I looked back like you know in the parking lot sort of like where we walked and I didn't see it so I think it was still in the store that I dropped it so anyways um I don't have that but I did check the digital receipt that they had sent already so that's how I knew that those two coupons I think didn't take off but I'd have to go on my phone and try and figure out the whole breakdown of all the prices and everything um but I think I'll just share with you guys sort of the deals for each individual item as to what happened because again too it, it's sort of like a little messy on the digital receipt I can't see everything real well so I don't know too if there was a couple other coupons that I used that came off because they're still like in my account like either sometimes it takes a really long time for them to finally leave or they just stay in there for like forever until they expire um, and I don't even know if you can use them a second time because normally it says limit one but it still stays in there like that happened with the sparkling ice drink like those uh, waters um, I had I used the dollar twenty coupon. I saw it took off on my receipt. It was still in my account though, and stayed in there even though it said limit one. Now I think it's gone because it expired, but it was still in my account. So I don't know if it's still redeemable at that point, or if it's not. And um, you know, like I said, I don't really know. Uh, but like I said, I'm just going to sort of maybe figure out the price real quick and then sort of tell you guys the deals. Um, also, as I remember them, hopefully. All right, guys. So this over here, sort of from the milk all the way over onto this side, was what we ended up getting at Jewel. So these items would have been seventy, uh, $77.34. I paid $31.87. Again, $3.50 worth of coupons that didn't come off would have made it $28.37. Again, possibly. I bought the wrong kind of cereal and then also the budding coupon not coming off so we would have been just under 30 bucks really for all of these items um, but we ended up saving still $45.47 now uh, yesterday I told you guys in my video that I was like oh we're gonna get dog food too and there was a couple of other things that I couldn't find um, I didn't realize too we were going to this jewel because it was actually closer to Walgreens and CVS we've been going the one that's closer to our Walmart um, and so I I checked to make sure that they had those items in that store instead of the one that we were going to um like at this one um and so there was a couple things that again i didn't see so the dog food the blue buffalo dog food i thought the 40 pound dog food the regular kind um was on sale for 38 dollars. i think it maybe was a 35 pound bag it would have made it um like 34 i think or something like that right around there 33.99 um which isn't that bad and i figured the price was actually cheaper per pound than what we pay at menards most of the time which is where we get the dog's food um but but they didn't have it tagged and they only had the smaller size which is like the 15 pound for that but I did check online um, for the other store and I know that they said they, theirs was on sale for that price whereas it's normally like I think $40 or 45 or something like that um, but it was supposed to be on sale for 38 but that the regular bag wasn't tagged it was only like the smaller bags and um, which were still like I think a little bit of savings off but um, again it was sort of weird and I was like I don't want to risk paying more money than what um, you know it, it was supposed to be especially for dog food when that's kind of expensive anyway especially if it wasn't on sale um, so I didn't end up doing that there was also a deal with the um, red star yeast um, like the platinum kind I think they didn't have that at that store they're on sale for two dollars and there was a dollar off the platinum kind coupon which would have made it only a dollar and I think honestly all these is maybe a little bit less than that but um not too bad so I was like oh I'll go ahead and get that um they didn't have it at that store and then also too they didn't have the um I got a freebie for um the signature like select vinegar but it was a 16 ounces they only had the 32 at this store I didn't actually check that at the other store um because I just did that actually last night but then I also they don't have the um refresh uh like single bottles or refreshers 
single bottles of water like at the like checkout the other store does and I had four freebie coupons for those so I was gonna pick those up but again we weren't at this store the ones they have there is like the Nestle kind um, so and it's not like interchangeable so I had to get the ones for that are the single size like it's a signature select refresh single bottles um, so those were the things that I didn't end up doing so I was actually expecting to pay a lot more at Jewel and ended up not um, and uh, on top of that too though I think that there were bonus points um, for the like um, rewards for the just for you if you spent over $50 and I had that but I didn't end up getting it because again we didn't spend over $50 after the stuff we ended up getting um, I was figuring with the dog food we would have been over that but anyways I'll jump into the deals um, so there's a sale going on this week which is the General Mills um, are $140 uh, 149 when you buy uh, four items. I did the deal twice, so I bought four of the cereals and I also bought two of the fruit snacks and two of the Nature Valley bars. Um, so the cereal will be 149. We also have dollar off of two just for you coupons that should most likely kind of be in everybody's account. I also had a personalized 99 cent um, for like any General Mills cereal, which is the same like that personalized just for you offer from last week, um, which took an extra 50 cents off so I got a total of a dollar 50 off of the cereals which ended up making them it's like 450 for three boxes or just a little bit over a dollar per box so not a bad deal there um, and then with the Nature Valley bars, those are on sale for $1.49 as well when you buy four. So this was sort of the other four I ended up doing along with the fruit snacks. There's a coupon for the Nature Valley, which is 50 cents off of two. And also one for the Betty Crocker fruit snacks, which was also 50 cents off of two. So those end up being about $1.25 per, um, you know, box. Um, and they, you know, are like $5 for four. Then, like I was saying, this was supposed to be the Saturday sampler, $2.50, and the coupon just for you will come off. I do have it loaded and everything like that. I think, like I said, I just picked up the wrong size because that says 18.2. Um, so then, a couple of the other advertised just for you deals going on. The Signature Select Pasta is $0.99 cents this week. There's a $0.50 cent off coupon, making it $0.49. Cents. We got some of the Rainbow Rotini. Also, the Ease Ice Cream, I think, or the Hagen dazs but we just got the big, um, full-sized uh, Edie's, which is, uh, I think $3.99 maybe. There's a $2 off coupon. It ends up working out to be uh, $1.99. And then also the red grapes, which are on sale for $0.77 cents a per pound after, again, a just for you coupon applies per pound. So I can't remember what I picked up again, and I'd have to go through my phone and try and find it. Um, some of the other, one of the other produce deals was the lettuce was on sale for 99 cents. It said 69 cents at my local store, but that wasn't the one I was going to. Um, this one and the other one I was planning on going had them for 99 cents. But again, produce prices totally vary depending on your store. And then also a personalized just for you offer was on the cantaloupe, which you guys see this is stinking huge, um, was only 99 cents. So that was also a really good deal. One of the other deals, which I think everybody should have in their account because they did have this ad advertised um, on like the sales tag. Um, these made good granola bars, the organic kinds, which are normally again a lot more money when you buy an organic, but they're on sale for $2.99. They're normally $4.50 and there's a dollar off coupon making them just $1.99. So again, I don't think that's all that bad for um, like organic granola bars. I paid a dollar 25 for these <laughs> and so for an extra 75 cents not too bad of a deal um and the rest of the items i think like i said the budding these are on sale i think they're like 33 cents maybe or something or 50 something cents i can't remember um they ended up costing the three of them were three dollars and something cents and then again i did have a dollar off of five coupon however it didn't apply for whatever reason so that ended up being um like I said, the regular sale price, but it was gonna be a little bit cheaper. Um, the rest of the items I think were all personalized just for you offers um, that were specifically for my account. Not as many as last week, but there were a couple. Um, the Yoplait yogurt was uh, 49 cents, uh, and it was like I said, just a limit of one offer, but um, I not the best price, but I went ahead and picked one of those up. The Gatorade was 49 cents um, for one of those with a just for you. The macaroni and cheese also the original like blue box was 49 cents as well 
This one was a really great deal because I love this price on cheese. This was, uh, normally it's $7.49, I think. It's on sale, and then there's also a personalized offer that would adjust the price, making it $4.49 for me, um, which is great for a two-pound bag of cheese. That is a lot of cheese for way less than what, like, either the smaller things come in, the price from Aldi. It's super cheap. Um, this might also be for in everybody's account. These are on sale these Nestle like revive waters um, which has magnesium to help reduce tiredness and fatigue but it's like the lemon flavor which I don't think I'd mind I don't mind lemon water they had a couple other flavors but these are on sale for $2.50 dollar off uh, just for you coupon made them $1.50 so I don't again think that's all that bad of a price um, since it's like four bottles of water in there and then also lastly, the personalized just for you offer, I believe for me, was on the um, half gallon milk. My mommy likes to use like the skim milk in her coffee. Um, so, and normally we don't get it all that often, but since um, it was a half gallon, I was like, we can go ahead and get that. It is normal price $2.50, I think. There's a dollar coupon, which made it $1.49. Um, which again, not the best price, because normally we get gallons of milk for like about a, two bucks, <laughs> but uh, not too bad again for something that we buy s somewhat. My mom has been using that like dairy or the that one kind of creamer that we've been getting a lot. But again, she will use milk, regular milk, but she prefers to use skim milk in her coffee. Um, and since she's the only one that will drink it, we normally will not get a whole gallon and we don't have room for a whole gallon a lot of times either. So again, I think that was pretty much everything from Jewel. I am sort of upset though because I had eight box tops for education items and now I can't scan my receipt because I dropped it in the store somewhere. It was about 80 cents in box tops. Plus, I don't know if there's any bonuses either going on um, for the school, but I do have mine for CVS, which I got another two over there, but would have been a total of about a dollar um, for box tops for education but since I lost that receipt, I'm only gonna be able to redeem the ones from CVS. So this was over at CVS. Um, all of these items would have been $45.91. I paid $6.97. I saved $38.94. I used $24 in extra bucks. Again, nine of it was only ones that I've been rolling or earned. The rest was, again, beauty bucks and all that other stuff, um, which was double that amount. So I got back $12 in extra bucks, um, which my net cost was really $18.97. But again, I didn't pay it out of pocket. And it was like, you know, extra free cash basically for me because it was all stuff that I wasn't even anticipating on getting. I knew I was going to get the, um, the care pass very soon because it was at the beginning of the month that we signed up for it last month. So far I've already, uh, I think it cost maybe 40 or 30 or something like that for the year and I've already redeemed 20 of it. So um, I think if we just do it once or twice more, it'll pay for itself pretty much. So to share the deals with you guys, I only ended up using one actual coupon, which was on the, um, the or you know, actually digital coupon. <laughs> Everything I do is digital, but the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is on sale for $1.99. There's a dollar off coupon making it $1.49. Again, almost around the price I was paying for those other boxes at Jewel anyway. Um, the rest of the stuff was all just sale things, but I got extra bucks back on all of it. The one deal I was going to do was they had the, um, the Tide Simply um, was on sale for $2.40 or $2.99, something like that. They had a dollar off coupon, but it was only on the Tide Pods, which they didn't have any more of left at my store. So I wasn't able to do that. And like I said, I figured that in and I was scared that if I didn't get it, I might be under the amount of extra bucks I was gonna plan on using. Um, so that's why I threw these re re uh, Hershey's Kisses in there. Not really the best price but it wasn't all too bad so the kisses are um on sale for three dollars each and you get a dollar extra buck back when you buy two so they're five for two or 250 each again like two dollars I don't mind 250 isn't that bad but like sale price I can a lot of times get that at like Aldi or something um or like Walmart even I think maybe Walmart's is like 2.99 but again um, not the best, but um, I was thinking maybe we could do some blossom cookies with them then since we have them. <laughs> so, um, 
again got those and then i didn't actually like i said after i saw my receipt realized i didn't need to get them because i still my subtotal would have been 97 cents um the garnier either fruities or the whole blends there's no coupons again on these but they're on sale for seven dollars you get four dollars in extra bucks back when you buy two making them three dollars for two or 150 each the copper to uh, copper tone sunscreen which again i use a lot of sunscreen especially in the summertime when i'm out in the garden all the time and everything like that and i think maybe i still have one bottle left but i can easily go through like two to three a year um so just on myself alone and i only like the um the spray on stuff the bottle stuff honestly guys which is more money so that's why i didn't think this was that bad of a deal but um <laughs> like the stuff that comes out of the bottles i just feel like it is just like sticky lotiony stuff that like I just feel disgusting after I put it on and like when I put the spray stuff on I don't <laughs> so um, you know it just feels so messy and then like dirt starts sticking to me and I'm like this is so nasty <laughs> when I'm trying to work in the garden um, you know and doing weeding and gardening and all that stuff so that's why I prefer that again there normally though the spray kind is a little bit more money they're on sale though for $9 and you get a $3 extra book back. So it's $6.99 with seven bucks, which again, sometimes at Menards, I can every once in a while get a deal about that price. So I didn't think it was that bad. Again, rolling all my extra bucks and all that stuff and didn't pay that much out of pocket for it. Um, so I didn't think it was all that bad. Then the paparazzi nail polish. These are normal price $5 for two or $2.99 I think each. But when you buy two, you'll get them for uh, $5. And you get a $4 extra buck back when you buy two, making them just 50 cents each. And my mom really likes these. I got a couple for her the last time they had these sales. So um, we ended up getting some more of those. And then lastly, over here at Walgreens, uh, my total for all these items, I just did one transaction at one store, would have been $40.59. I paid $13.27. I saved $27.32. I used $8 in register rewards and got back $9. Um, I got a five dollar register award back and also four dollars. Actually, I got four dollars and 29 cents back. So my net cost was a little bit less than twelve dollars. Actually, that would have been like eleven ninety two. So I was just under twelve bucks for all these items. Again, not all the stuff was actually really that great of deals or sales or anything like that. And we see some of this stuff a lot of times cheaper. But um, I couldn't really figure out a whole ton of stuff that I wanted to do. There's only one deal I was like, I really want to do this. I also had a um, a bonus spend twenty five and you got a four dollar uh, four dollars in Walgreens cash back. So. Um, one of the items alone was half of that pretty much that what I was gonna do. So I was like, I can just throw in maybe some of the sale food stuff um, and get a couple deals on those as well. So the Arizona teas, these are on sale for 69 cents. We get these a lot of times for 50 cents. So it's a little bit more. Um, and I normally actually don't stock up that much, but I've been, ever since I started drinking these again, I've been craving them. And I drank through almost all of the ones that I have already. And I was like, I need to get another deal. And they haven't had them on sale in a while. So I was like, okay, this is good. I'll go ahead and stock up a little bit. And getting all of these just pushed me over. Um, it was two or $3.45 and pushed me over to to that $25 that I needed to get the four back. Um, the nice peanuts are on sale for $188. I think this is around the price Aldi normally sells their peanuts for. Um, I think or maybe like $150. Sometimes I can get them for $0.99, cents, but I didn't think it was all that bad. Again, the Doritos were on sale for $6 when you buy three. Um, so they're $2 each. I told you guys Doritos normally for 2 bucks, That is right around a good price. I think these might be a little bit smaller bags. Like we got a deal on them at Jewel last week for... That was a buy two and you get three for free. They were like $1.75 or something like that. So it's a little bit cheaper. But um, I was surprised to see this sale actually at Walgreens. So I was like, hey, not too bad. Um, and then one of the coupon deals that I did was on the Tide, um, the Simply you know, uh, liquid detergent, or there's a separate coupon, I believe on the pods. Um, but my plan was I was going to get them at CVS. They didn't have them. So I went with the liquid. Um, and that was, uh, two ninety 
or $2.95 and there was a dollar off coupon making it $1.95. Then the deal, which this one is not a bad deal at all, um, on the Gillette Pro Glide Razor. Um, it's the one count razor and cartridge. Um, it is on sale for $10.99. And we have a $3 off uh, coupon, like, you know, the mobile load to card coupons or whatever, um, which was all that I ended up using. Ended up being where I paid uh, $7.99 and got a $5 register award back for buying one, making it $2.99, which, like I said, is not, I don't think, all that bad for, like, the, you know, reusable razors. And again, all this stuff figured into. I also got an extra $4 back plus the 29 cents for just my spending. My net cost again was just under 12 bucks, which is pretty much what that razor retails for. It's like I got the rest of the stuff all for free um, or however you figure it. But Walgreens, like I said, thankfully worked out. Everything was really good. Um, my cashier was also really helpful too because I did, like I said, I used two $4 register awards and <laughs> she could not get them to scan at all. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, um, but then she saw too, she was like, oh my goodness, you have so much in your balance rewards, or not balance rewards, now they're Walgreens cash, um, cause I have $48 and 87 cents now, um, which is a lot. And I still, I've been trying to like redeem it slowly, but this week again, just because it's sort of a weird week, um, with Easter last weekend and then Jack's birthday too on Thursday, which was weird when we were going to do some of the shopping, um, but we're going to do those other grocery stores, Aldi, Caputo's and Valley Produce tomorrow. Um, um, instead of doing Walgreens and CVS because we're going to do those on Monday probably. Um, but again, long story short, it was just everything worked out well and it was just sort of a weird week. I was also scared like, oh my goodness, they're not going to have some of this stuff. CVS, like I said, was the only thing that just didn't have that one item. But they had everything at Walgreens totally stocked actually. There was like, it looked like none of these. Nobody had bought any of these at all, which I thought they were going to possibly be gone and I was scared about. But they had them behind the like... Um, you know, you have to get like an assistant to get them out of like the case or whatever. And so we had to wait for that. Um, while I did the rest of the shopping, my dad had to tell him which guy to get. So again, guys, that was everything from all of those stores. I don't know entirely what we ended up spending in total, like out of pocket. It was probably 30 something at Jewel and then I think under 20 between Walgreens and CVS. So it was like maybe around 50 bucks between all the stuff here. Um, and then again to Valley Produce, Caputo's and Aldi. I don't think I have much to get. The only thing that's on my list for Aldi is bird seed because it's, they have some, it's on sale, maybe a little cheaper than what we get sometimes at Menards. Um, but um, I think that's the only thing that I have that I was planning on getting at Aldi. Um, so yeah, but like I said, a couple things that jewel weird didn't work out but um i don't know when it ended up happening um especially with the budding like i thought that would work but um because like i said i check all the stuff to see the online if it matches up the coupon matches up or whatever and if it does it almost always corresponds to like the right sale price and that it works in the store too so you know, I bought the right size and everything like that. I don't know entirely what ended up happening. Unless maybe one of them didn't get scanned or something, which I don't think was the case. Because I thought, like I said, three something for five of them was what I figured. Um, but, again, don't know. So, I'm going to get all this stuff put away, it looks like, right now. And um, I don't need to make a list for tomorrow because we're already, I already finished that. Because I thought we were going to go on Thursday, but that was Jack's birthday. So, we ended up just staying home. So, we weren't going to go, um, like I said, there that day. Anyways, guys, I am going to get all this stuff taken care of and I will see you guys all later. Well, guys, I am going to go take a shower and get to bed so that I can go to Valley Produce, Caputo's, and Aldi tomorrow, which is... I'm not going to say easier, <laughs> um, but like it will be less comp. Like I don't have to think tomorrow if I am tired at least. I don't have to be like, oh, I have to make sure I get this and the coupons and oh, you know, if they don't have this or, you know, any of that kind of stuff like I sort of did today, I will probably be tired tomorrow. I literally just have to go tomorrow and push the cart through the store and focus enough to pick out the right stuff. <laughs> Make sure I'm not getting apples when I'm supposed to be getting oranges. Um, so yeah, it should be like, those stores are normally pretty quick and easy because like I said, I don't have to worry about like making sure I'm getting the right size things and ounces wise and all that kind of stuff. Making sure it's the right size for like the coupon, all that kind of stuff. And 
like I said, taking a lot of that stuff I do again ahead of time. So that's why I don't have to worry about all too much of that. Um, it's just, again, when I get into the store, I want to make sure like if the stuff isn't tagged on the shelf right or whatever, that I'm getting the right size products. Cause today again, I got the wrong stuff at Jewel. Um, and so, uh, that was sort of my only mix up there. But, um, like I said, for the most part, I sort of get that stuff done ahead of time. It's just when I go to these stores, I'm like, okay, apples. Yep. Those are definitely Fuji apples. Those are ones we're getting, you know, whatever. I don't have to think too much. Um, also too, guys, I went through all of my, um, like Monopoly tickets, which I realized we got like 30 something. Um, I think 35 and I thought the guy in front of us also had like 35. So I had close to like 70, um, like, monopoly tickets or something like that i have a bunch of freebies a ton plus i have an additional three dollars um like just for you like cash sort of you know off my next purchase um i won one dollar and uh, i got a two dollar in one of the Mo monopoly ones um and then i got a ton of freebies like sandwich bags and two things of french bread i think there was like uh, I can't add a bunch of other stuff. I'll probably hopefully be able to get all of it next week. I got another thing for vin a vinegar. Um, but again, hopefully I can get all of it next week and share that with you guys. But there was a ton. I don't, I don't win the big bucks, but there was a lot of little freebies and all that kind of stuff. Plus also too, when you don't win anything, you get tokens still. Um, and it, one of the ones I redeemed last night, I got a hundred tokens, um, which I think it's like 200 and something and you get $25 off. I'm actually already over that. So I'm going to wait and hang on to them though, until like I can see how much more I can get. Cause that's the most you can redeem. Like there's also sweepstakes. You can enter all kinds of other things, but, um, I'm going to wait and see if maybe I can't get another one of those and then use that $25 maybe next week. If I'm getting a lot of like, you know, like will be over $25 for sure. Um, then I might wind up redeeming it, but I've got 25, I can redeem for $25 as well. So like alone, I've saved probably a ton of money already over this monopoly, you know, time. Um, and still again, have a lot more that I can get. So I am super thankful that that guy, um, like it's in front of us was just like, you know, he could have just been like, no, we're not playing, you know, or whatever. And just, you know, lady just wouldn't have given him the tickets but he was like uh no I'm not but then he asked us and was like oh are you guys and I was like yeah and he's like okay then I'll take the tickets and give them to you guys so I was like thank you so much that's so nice um so again that probably helps me save a good chunk of money um plus like I said some of those freebies and also um possibly at least one of those you know dollar off coupons that I also got too so um you know every little bit sort of does wind up adding up at some point where you're like wow I actually saved a lot of money on this trip um so again yeah I'll share all that with you guys but I have I won too much stuff to even really keep track plus like all just the little 50 cent ones that can also add up if the stuff is on sale and everything like that like we could get some pretty good deals but I will share all of those if I can find them all in the stores next week but anyways guys yes you will see another small haul most likely tomorrow if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your Sunshiny Feasts tomorrow. So bye guys.